Welcome to Mac Automation Made Simple. This series focuses on providing tips and tricks for using AppleScript and Automator in Mac OS X. Hi, welcome back to Mac Automation Made Simple. I'm your host, Ben Waldy. In this episode, we'll continue discussing how to control the Microsoft Office 2008 applications with Automator. As a reminder, the Office actions we'll be discussing are included with Office 2008 for Mac and Office 2008 for Mac Special Media Edition. They are not included with earlier versions of Office or with Office 2008 for Mac Home and Student Edition. In the last episode, we focused on Microsoft Word. This time, we'll be exploring another application in the Office suite, Excel. One thing we tackled with Word was the common repetitive task of batch converting documents from one format to another. Since this is a common task for Excel users too, let's start with that. Start by going into Automator, and when the Starting Points panel appears, choose to create a custom workflow. Excel's actions can be found in the Documents category of Automator's Action Library. Since they're intermingled with Word's and potentially other applications' actions, it's easiest to use the search field to try to find what you want. Type Convert into the search field. The action we need is Convert Format of Excel Files. Select it and drag it to your workflow area. Next, you need to set the desired output format. You can configure this action to convert Excel files to Office 2004 workbooks, to PDF, HTML, and more. Suppose that we regularly need to convert Excel files to comma-separated format for import into a database. Choose CSV, comma delimited. Now let's save this workflow as an application. From the File menu, select Save As, then give the workflow a name, such as Convert Excel to CSV. Set the file format to Application, and save it to your desktop. I'm going to close this workflow and go out to my desktop, and here's my application. Remember, Automator workflows saved as applications are drag and droppable, so to run this workflow, all that we need to do is drag one or more Excel files onto the workflow. Then, the dropped files get passed to the first action in the workflow for processing. In this case, they're converted to CSV format. Let's switch gears and try something else. Suppose you need to prepare a list of mailing addresses in Excel, perhaps for the purpose of printing address labels. Well, here in Address Book, I've prepared a handful of contacts and I've added them to a group titled Holiday Cards. Back to Automator. I'm going to create a new custom workflow. Then I'll click on the Context category to display my address book actions. I'll select the Get Specified Address Book Items action and drag it to my workflow. Next, I'll click the Add button in the action to choose my Holiday Cards group of contacts. Next, I'll select the Get Contact Information action and drag it to the end of my workflow. Now, I only want certain information, so first I'll click the Deselect All button to deselect all of the available fields. Then I'll set the action to get the first and last name and home address for each contact. That's all that I really need. I also don't need labels before each field, so I'll deselect the Add Labels checkbox. Next, I need to copy the result of this action, the retrieved names and addresses, to the clipboard. That way, I can bring it into Excel later. So I'll scroll down and select the Utilities category of actions. Then I'll type Copy into the search field. I'll select the Copy to Clipboard action and drag it to the end of my workflow. Now I'm ready for Excel. First, I need to create a new workbook. So I'll go back to the Documents category of Actions, and I'll type New into the search field. I'll choose the Create New Excel Workbook action and drag it to my workflow. Now, notice that this action joined up with the Copy to Clipboard action. I actually don't want this action to process the previous action's output because it won't format it the way that I need it to. So. With the Create New Excel Workbook action selected in my workflow, I'll choose 
ignore input from the action menu. There, now the output of the previous action will be ignored and the create new Excel workbook action will act as though it received nothing as input. Finally, I'm going to paste the contact information from the clipboard into my workbook. So I'll type paste into the search field. Then I'll select the paste clipboard content into Excel workbooks action and drag it to the end of the workflow. For this action, I'll just leave the paste in cell field blank so the action will paste the clipboard content at the top of the workbook. And I'll also leave the paste as pop-up set to default. Now I'm ready to test the workflow. So I'll click run in the toolbar. First Automator retrieves the names and addresses from the people in the holiday cards group. Then a new workbook is created and finally the names and addresses are pasted into the workbook. And it's done. My holiday cards address labels are now ready to be printed. If you'd like to try some more Excel 2008 workflows, there are a number of sample workflows that you can run from Excel script menu. If you'd like to open and modify these workflows, you can find them in your documents folder under Microsoft User Data Excel script menu items. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Mac Automation Made Simple. Until next time, automate your Mac and simplify your life. For more on Automator, check out Ben Waldy's Automator Visual Quick Start Guide, available from Peach Pit Press.